This is a little song to say hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hello, welcome to Drinking Beer. I'm your host, John Plunkett. Today I'm going to be sampling for you Line and Kugel's Limited Golden Lager. This is a special release lager from Line and Kugel's. Now you're probably wondering why why do you pick up Line and Kugel's? I like Line and Kugel's, all right? I think it's good. Maybe I'm the only one, but I highly doubt there's a brewery just making beer for me. Be funny if they were, but that's neither here nor there. I'm going to read the, the bottle a little bit. Uh, first brewed in 1986, this class. I got to stop right there. <laughs> Referring to history is 1986. 1986. Then you're like, yeah. That's bullshit. 1986, that wasn't too long ago. Shit, that was only 25 years ago. When they do shit like that, I know you probably can't see it, but the intricate stuff in the bottle, yeah. I like that. I like seeing stuff like that. But this is the first time I've actually seen this in a line of Kugel's bottle. Maybe they're on all of them, but I don't remember seeing it on them. But whatever. Into the glass we go. That was a fucking fast transition. Looks a lot darker than your standard lager. A lot darker. A lot of bubbles, too. This probably means it's malty, malty, malty. Doesn't smell like your standard fare of lager, but Line and Kugel's rarely does. All right, I'm just gonna drink it because I want to find out. I mean, because considering the fact that the last two were sort of European styles of lager, I mean, Warsire was definitely German, Moosehead was in the, inspired by you know European lager, so Line and Kugel's probably has their own take, especially on a limited release, so. Let's find out. Line and, <laughs> Line and Kugel's Limited Golden Lager. Cheers. It's like, yeah. it, it's kind of, I mean, it's got a subtler, roastier sort of taste to it. It's not as traditional lager. I mean, I, I go to these different styles of beer. When it comes to a lager, if anybody asks me, like, well, what do you want to drink, if, lager-wise? You know, Line of Kugels is great. I like it. They're kind of like the underdog of the beer world. They don't deserve it either because they make good beer. So what do I have to say about Line of Kugels Limited Golden Lager? I like it a lot. It's very good. I don't know how much different it is than regular Line of Kugel. But it's actually, I mean, it's very, very good. So that was my review of Line and Kugel's Limited Golden Lager. Definitely pick up a six pack if you can find it. Because I highly recommend it. My name is John Plunkett. This has been Drinking Beer. Until we meet again, happy trails and keep drinking. <laughs>